Okay, second part of the DIY live rock recipe and supplies and tools you'll need. So on the first video, I was telling you about the play sand. Um, you can get sand from your fish store, um, but it's going to cost you a lot more money. Uh, some people do put it into the recipe. I did on a couple pieces. Um, I'll show you some examples here in a few seconds um, of what more sand or less sand does to your recipe. So basically, uh, I'll show you some of the pieces I made, and you can do any of these kind of pieces yourself. I mean, it's all in your imagination, whatever you come up with. This, these two rocks here, that one and this one, uh, has a little more, I put some sand in there to fill it up, but as you can see, um, they're not as porous. I mean, it's a pretty solid piece. And that's with a lot of sand. This is kind of a medium, medium sand, and again, you can do anything you want. I kind of made a shelf here. You know, um, it's not too bad, although I don't know if I'm going to use that particular piece or not. But uh, that has a little more of the crushed coral in it um, and very, very little sand. All right. And then this piece here, and I don't know if you can be able to tell on the video, but I'll try to get the look the best I can. This piece here, um, this was made with the uh, crushed coral. And you can see the big detail, like the bigger pieces on this. And no sand, actually, in this. And, I'll, and again, I'll show you how to, how to go about that, uh, what the recipe and the ingredients, the measuring is on them. And then this piece here was with the crushed oyster shell. Okay. And if you, you can see that the pieces are a little more fine. And, uh, you know, I just think it came out a little more realistic, a little better. Not so big and bulky as this. And definitely, you know, these are really thick, solid. I don't think they're very porous. I mean, it'd be good for base rock. And again, your uh, aggregate's going to cost you a little bit of money, and that's not too bad either, um, as far as money-wise. But I did did prefer the uh, this this recipe here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you basically the recipe. Um, again, it's Portland cement, rock salt and your aggregate, which again, this is crushed coral, okay? Basic recipe, what most people go by is the 3 two, one principle. Three parts aggregate, which is the crushed coral or the crushed oyster shell, even pea pebble if you wanted to use it. Two parts rock salt. Again, you can smash these up or leave them whole. I did a mixture of both and it both turned out, uh, both ways worked, okay? So then two parts of that and your one part of your cement. Okay, um, that's the general rule. Unfortunately, here in Florida, with the humidity the way it is and the weather we have, I couldn't go by that. It just crumbled. I mean, I didn't even. I let it set for 24 hours. Uh, I pulled it up out of the sand and it fell to pieces. So basically, what I did is I modified it a little bit. I went three parts of the crushed coral, two parts of the um, rock salt and two parts of the cement. Now again, the less cement, more porous, but unfortunately mine just wouldn't set up. I wanted to make it a little more porous, but I don't think they came out really bad. So, okay, so that's your basic recipe. Now what you do is, what, uh, what I did originally, was I set up the, like a big blue tub, the plastic tubs. You can find them at Walmart, Lowe's, whatever, for a couple bucks. Um, but for this demonstration, because mine's already made, I'm only going to do it in a little pan. So basically what you do is you take your sand, you put a pretty good depth of sand uh, right in here, I probably got about an inch and a half, two inches. And then you just basically form a mold into the sand. And what I, how I did that was I just pressed down with my fingers to what shape I liked. I don't know if you can really see that or not. It's almost like a V shape. Okay. What you have to do is you have to wet your sand down because it's too fine dry, you won't be able to make a mold. So you want to wet your sand down to about that consistency where it'll actually hold together or when you push it around, it'll actually form into the sand. Okay? So that's going to be your mold. So basically it's going to be three, two, two. And just for this demonstration, I'm just going to use my hand. So basically Put it into a bucket. One, two, three. Okay. 
dry ingredients first. Basically what I did. And then I took one, two parts cement. Always mix your dry ingredients first. Mix them before you put the water in. Make sure everything's mixed up so it's all together. You should have a pretty good consistency. Make sure all your crushed coral is uh, covered in the cement. Now you want to wait on your you want to wait on the rock salt because if you put the rock salt in now and you add the water and you mix it too much, the rock salt will start evaporating already and it won't come out the way you want. So you add the rock salt at the very end. All right. Basically, you want to add just enough water to make it a little less than an oatmeal, a little drier than an oatmeal consistency. Because again, the wetter the batch, the more solid your rock. So you want to mix that up real good. And they have special technical names. They call it slurry. You can call it anything you want. Just mix it up really well. Now that's just a little bit too dry, so I'm going to add a little more water here. You don't want to get crazy with the water because then you make it too too uh, too slick, too, too sloppy. Then you got you have to start adding more ingredients, and then your recipe comes up a little messed up. So so basically, this is what you want to end up with at the beginning. You want to end up with a slurry that will kind of stick together when you crumple it, okay? Now, it's hard in the camera work, it's hard to do this one-handed. Now what I'll do is I'm going to add this. I'm going to add the rock salt. Mix this together in a good batch. I'm going to add just a little bit more water. And you don't want to mix this too long once you get the rock salt in there because again, it will uh, it'll start to evaporate and then it'll, it won't work for the recipe. So now basically, just take your mixture. You can do this with your hand too, doesn't matter. And you just basically put it in your mold. There you go, it's in the mold. Now it's all together. Now some people will take a little bit of sand and kind of sprinkle it and cover them. Um, I tried that on a few. I found that it wasn't very, uh, it, it, it didn't help the, be, the rock to become very porous. So I left it open on there. Basically what you do is you leave it there for 24 hours, let it set up. Don't, don't touch it. I know you're going to be tempted to want to take it out in 12 hours because you think it's cured and it's not. It'll fall apart. 24 hours. Uh, just leave it there, let it set. Um, and then basically once it dries after 24 hours, it'll come right up out of the mold. And then um, after that, just uh, like kind of set it in the sun. Let it get a little weathered. Put it outside. I mean, maybe not in the winter time up there where where it's really cold or whatever. But uh, you know, let it let it weather a little bit for about a week, and then basically just put it into a pail, a bucket. Um, if you have a lot of rock, you can use garbage can. Fill it up with fresh water, and um, let it start cure. And on the next video, I'll go over that um, and show you how 
how you go about curing it and testing it to see if uh, it's fully cured and um, so you know the lime in the concrete doesn't leach out into your aquarium. You don't want to put it right in right away. So on the next video, uh, we'll cover that. Thanks.